oh my gosh. I have new hair, it's crazy. I'm doing this vlog, it's out of the ordinary for me because I don't usually vlog about this kind of stuff but it was such a big deal that I was changing my hair, obviously. I dyed it platinum. I have had the same hair for like 12 years of my life. I used to be experimental in high school, I had like a pixie haircut, I had like extensions, I did like extension braids. And then since then, I haven't changed it. Like the entire time I've had Mr. Kate had the same hair. So anyways, it was like a six hour process to lighten my hair all the way, basically strip all of the pigment out, and then of course, tone it so that it wasn't yellow. And yes, that is what this vlog is about. So hopefully you creative weirdos can maybe just get inspired to change up your hair if that is something you wanna do, or you can just kind of live vicariously through me, whatever you want. I'm sure some of you will be like, I liked your hair better before, but that's okay, we all have our opinions and that's great. And I'm still like getting used to it, I don't know, I, I like it. I'm blabbing, let's get into the vlog. Before we do, subscribe guys, hashtag Mr. one million. How close are we? Like, it's crazy, it's awesome. Thank you so much everybody who's subscribing. OGs, new Gs, love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, without further ado, let's go to the salon. So the darkest part of my hair is this underneath layer that I never get highlighted. So that is what Danny is now painting with. Good old bleach. I'll show you some of my inspo kit. This is obviously a part in the middle with you know, like a little longer here, whereas this one's shorter and side part. This is like my main inspo, this girl. I wanna do that length, but I don't know if that is gonna be too weird if I ever wear it curly. So basically, Danny's saying he doesn't wanna waste all the bleach on the ends of my hair if I'm just gonna cut it off. Anyways. Which makes so much sense. You're so sustainable. You're so eco-friendly. Right. Leonardo DiCaprio would be proud. Would be proud. <laughs> Saving all the glacier-colored hair. <laughs> Where's Tomas? Tomas is my Polish talk, crabby hairstylist. Yes, he Tomas refers to himself in the third person. person. <laughs> <laughs> but we love him. He's gonna weigh in. This is Tomas, everyone. Hi. Look how cute he is. So here's my inspo. That's your inspiration? Yeah. Fantastic. The shorter you go, the more curly it actually gets. So maybe we go like the tad is a bit longer than this. A tad longer. You get too long, you get too big. All right, you're gonna whack. cut it off. Whack. <laughs> it's gonna get whack. Yeah, I don't want whack. All right, here he goes. Ah! <laughs> Wait, that was so unceremonious. Jeez. Where's my symphony? Stop it. All right. There's well, no that going, just happened. There's no going back now. Oh my god, Joey's gonna hate it. I'm like slightly sick to my stomach because it happened so fast. For how long? Never had short hair. I know. Never. Which is so crazy because in high school I was so experimental. I had like a bob in high school and then I cut my hair into a pixie haircut and then I got extensions, but they were like the yeah. weave extensions where they do like the braid across and then sew them in and they were curly and I looked like Lady Godiva and it was so bad. And now we're going platinum and chopped it all off. <sighs> so because my hair is already dyed on the ends, we won't need to set this as long. See how my roots aren't painted? So we're gonna set the length of my hair, then do the roots. We're gonna have to double process it because we gotta get it super light. Yeah. So here's what the first layer looks like. Like a purpley bluish white. And then we are going to do the root. Okay, we rinsed the first batch and I'm like orange because it is the first round and I haven't been toned. Tomas is going to cut my hair now. We're doing this all kinds of backwards. I still obviously need way more bleaching happening so that I'm not an orange, yellow marshmallow. What do you call the little chickens? They, you know the, when oh, the chicks the are chick. born? <laughs> They're so cute. No, I don't want to be a little chicky. Just even things out right now so we okay. have 
better length and he can finish the color and whatever he needs to do, he needs to do. I just want to make sure everything looks pretty. There's a lot of uneven pieces. We just want to clean things up. Who made uneven pieces? <laughs> I kind of did. But I, I wanted to make it cool and exciting, so I made it very... It was you know, very dramatic. You cannot <laughs> rush art, you know, it's just go with it. baby chicken the baby chicken with a bob as Tomas says because I look like a chick because I'm yellow I get to dry my hair and then he's gonna paint more bleach on it <sighs> this is the part where the bleach goes into my brain does it go into your brain yes really <laughs> oh, it's kind of tingling. That's normal? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely does not tingle when I get my highlights done. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a tingle. I'll just think of it as like a spa treatment. And we're doing this on wet hair, which usually you bleach my... When you do my highlights, you do with the dry hair, right? This is to protect the hair. I'm sitting under this rotating disc of fire. I am like a bagel getting toasted right now. So once the roots are good, then he's gonna pull it through the end. I feel like this plastic is like melting. I'm gonna be like napalm. All right, we are doing the second coat. This is it after the second one, and I thought we were gonna need to do another one because there was still like yellow here, but Danny thinks we just need to do the toner and that'll take down the yellow and we don't need to bleach it again. He's trying to protect my hair as much as possible, which I appreciate. So here it is after the toner. So since my hair is like already been highlighted in areas, those parts took the toner more. So I actually kind of have like lavender hair right now. Final verdict, Danny went in, brightened up those purpley spots, and this. Now it's time to dry it and let Tomas just finish up the cut a little bit and I'll probably put in some waves. So Tomas is now just, just finessing, blending, blending the cut. Okay, okay, are we done? Oh my god, okay, he used the the one and a quarter barrel and only half a bottle of dry texturizing spray. Ah! <laughs> Look at him, he's so proud. Right here it is in the sunlight. What do we think? I love it's it. So process to go platinum this is like maybe my what fourth day of having it after I dyed it it was like 5 p.m. I had to go shopping for Lily's place and then the next day we literally woke up at 5 in the morning and went to Lily's house and installed her bedroom and then the next day we installed her office so I like didn't have time to like look in the mirror like play around with it I left the salon went to sleep woke up and was on camera for like 48 hours so I don't know I'm still getting used to it I need to figure out my makeup now which was something I didn't even think about like my foundation color is now wrong even though my skin color didn't change but right now I don't have any foundation on I just put concealer and blush on and I don't even have any bronzer and the maintenance now for this is I just have to go like every four to six weeks and just do my roots so I'll literally go for less than an hour he'll just put bleach on my roots He'll tone it, done, goodbye. I hope you guys like it. It was a big change. I think that part of my positivity seeking for this year, you know, is just embracing those impulses. I literally just like woke up and decided I'm ready for a change. You know, sometimes you just have that feeling and I'm the type of person when I have that like gut feeling, I just go for it. It's actually how I like decorate rooms too. I'm like, it feels right doing it. Painting that color, buying that couch, 
dyeing that hair. <laughs> So I hope you guys like it. If you don't, be nice anyways and just embrace the whole philosophy behind changing things up and being a creative weirdo and embracing your creative expression because style and the way you express yourself outwardly is all just a reflection of how awesome and unique you are on the inside. So no judgment. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video coming out so soon. So subscribe. Thumbs up this video and leave a comment and let me know what you think. All right, love you so much. Bye. Mr. Kate. Hey everybody. How was that video? How's this hair look? I'm wearing it with sunglasses and pearls and uh, a see-through shirt. Whoa, why not? I'm wearing a bra, guys. I'm wearing a bra. But anyways, if you guys want to see how I'm styling my hair on a regular basis, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Those links will be down in the description because that's where we put them. It's so descriptive. I love you guys. We're creative weirdos. Doesn't it feel good? Does it feel good? Go do something weird. Yay!